Welcome back to the dojo, y'all. <clears throat> Hope you've been enjoying things. Hope you've been waking up every day with that can-do attitude. Waking up with a purpose. And if you're not waking up with a purpose, at least you're waking up. So, Pete, right? Top of the discussion for the day. Nice guys finish last. Yep. Nice guys finish last. What does that really mean? Nice guys finish last. Hawk Sensei, what does that mean? It means stupid people finish last. A lot of times, the guy that's the nice guy He's really not nice. That's the crazy part about it. And I'm gonna tell you from experience, right? I played that nice guy role because I thought that it was what I was supposed to do. I thought I was supposed to be a nice guy, right? But in all of that being a nice guy, I wasn't being genuine to who I am as a person and women can see through that which you may not realize they can see through that right so the reason why these bad guys or these bad boys always get the girl is because they're not putting on the front or pretending to be something that they're not right that's the thing about attraction you don't have to do anything you're just attracted to it, right? Just like men, for example. Most of us grew up watching adult content, right? So we began to chase after or lust after women that were more explicit, for lack of a better word, right? Those women, more often than not, the way that they dress may not even be relative to what type of woman she is, but it's the image that you like, so that attracts you, All right? Long story short, no matter what you're getting into out there, it's always best to be genuine because you're going to always get a genuine reaction from being genuine. Whether they genuinely like you or genuinely dislike you, the reaction is always genuine, truthful, and honest. That's what you want. Whether it hurts your feelings or not, it's irrelevant. You want the honest truth. You don't want to have to second guess and, and try to figure out playing head games and my games, right? That's why nice guys finish last. Because you're putting on a persona you feel as though you need to be nice, agreeable, respectful at every single moment of interaction with the opposite sex. And because you're always like that, they like, I know that's not real. I know he's not. I know that's not who he really is, right? So women get turned off when they can't. They can't see you being your real self. They see that you're putting on a front or they see that you're behaving in this particular way, right? But they know it's not real, right? That's why Chad and Tyrone don't be having no problems with women because they don't pretend. You know what I'm saying? They just up front with it. They just keep it a buck. Right? Being nice is almost synonymous with being naive. You're stupid. You don't know what you're doing. Right? We grew up, we grew up in an age from our millennials. We grew up in an age where we were taught to be gentlemen. We were taught to court a woman, woo her, be romantic. You know what I mean? Because of the things that we watched growing up. You know what I mean? 
Especially that Disney stuff. Right? But what happens when you try to do all that wooing and seduction, you end up just seducing yourself. You know what I mean? Because the woman is the one that should be the one that's seducing. Right? So if you're the one that's trying to be seductive, you know, you're taking you're taking her role away from her. Right? You you're trying to be all romantic and devil nair and Casanova and whatever. Right? You losing the whole point of letting her seduce you. Right? A woman wants to be seductive, right? Especially if she's attracted to you. She wants she wants to feel like she seduced you. You miss that whole point when you always trying to be romantic and shit. Right? Nice guys finish last because you don't understand that it's give and take. She's supposed to do something too. You know what I'm saying? She got a part to play. Right? See, most what I'm saying is most of these guys is getting cheated on, getting taken advantage of, these quote unquote nice guys. Right? Y'all so y'all so wrapped up with a moral code. You know what I'm saying? Trying trying to be morally profound or trying to be the best projection, you know what I'm saying, of what you think a woman wants in a man, right? What a woman wants in a, in a man is everything that is man. The testosterone, the dominance, the decisiveness, the confidence. The assertiveness. See, I think most people get that mixed up with being being a boss or telling people what to do or like, bro, like, no. No, man. What that is is what they really saying, so I can break it down to the nice guy so y'all understand what all those things mean. It's really just being sure of yourself. Not needing to ask for a woman's approval. You confident that she likes you. You confident that she's attracted to you. You know what I mean? So you just take the chance and see what you get. Right? Now I know that nowadays the way the the the, the climate when it comes to dating, like, you know what I mean? Maybe maybe it's not best to follow that type of advice. But ultimately if a woman's attracted to you, she going you know what I'm saying? She won't give you a chance. That's if she's attracted to you, right? Being a nice guy, you're going to deny the rejection. You know what I mean? You're going to think. See, that's that's the that's the how women reject reject men. You know what I mean? They don't want to do it in a nasty way. Unless they just that type of woman, but they want to be nice. Because being nice they can still get favors from you and you're still willing to do things for them. That's that that's that whole friend zone concept, right? But the reality is there is no friend zone. You put yourself in that position by thinking that you need to be, right? You need to be her knight in shining armor. Right? You don't know where these women is at in they in their life and in, in they, you know what I'm saying? Where they at with God, where they at with their career, where they at with their family, friends. You don't know where they at in their life, in their mentality, their spirit, nothing like that, right? She probably threw away that Prince Charming fantasy when she was like 13. She had her heart broken. Like, you don't know what's up, man. You don't know what's up, right? The nice guy gonna always get the short end of the stick. Because he doesn't understand. He doesn't understand social cues. Because he's always nice. You know what I mean? Women like, women like to be nice to nice people. Right? But that's only going to go so far. Now, a woman that's attracted to you. She's going to want to do more for you than the average person. She just wants to do it. You know what I'm saying? She's seeking your approval. 
right? The nice guy never allows the woman to seek his approval because he always just gives it to her right off the bat, right? Right, man, like, y'all be forgetting that women are people too. Women are people too. Right? Treat her as a person, nice guy. Treat her as just another person. Unless she give you a window of opportunity or she gave you the hints and the signs, you know what I mean, whatever that may be, it ain't that hard to tell, you know what I'm saying? It ain't, it ain't hard to tell when a girl like you. Y'all just be making shit complicated and y'all be trying to live in denial. That's that's the male delusion. Being a nice guy, that's male delusion. Like the way that these girls be having all this delusion about wanting a high value man and this and that. There's there's also delusion on the on, on the opposite side of the spectrum, the simping and you know what I mean, being a nice guy. I'm not saying don't be a good person. Right? Don't mix up a nice guy with a good guy. Right? A nice guy is a dumb guy. A good guy is a good person. Right? But a good guy, he's not always nice. Right? What is really good? Do you know what good is? Right? You can look up the definition. Right? Good is something that's satisfying. Good is something that's healing. Good is something that's fulfilling. Nurturing. Right? A woman's definition of a good man may not be what you think you are. What's good to her may be completely abstract to you. You're probably projecting, you know, what your mother told you. That's what, what, what your mother tell you about women is what she wanted from a man. You know what I'm saying? You're not trying to attract your mother. You're trying to attract the woman of your dreams or whatever is out there, right? Being a nice guy, you're going, like I said, you're going to always fall short because you don't understand your role. You don't understand her role. You know what I'm saying? The man sets the tone for a relationship. A woman sets the tone for intimacy. You know what I'm saying? Lover boy. Get it together. Get it together. A man's purpose, you know what I'm saying, is to provide for a woman and his children the woman who bears his children. But if you don't have a woman and you don't have any children, there's no need for you to provide for her unless she's auditioning for that role. What am I saying? I'll tell you. A woman who wants to be with you is going to do things that a wife would do for you. What's that? Cooking for you. Making sure that you're okay. Do you need anything? Is there anything that you want? She's not going to do this every single day, but from time to time, she'll be considered. She'll be understanding, right? She'll be cooperative. She'll do things as if she was a wife to you, right? That's how you know that she is supposed to be your wife because she's already trying to be that before getting the ring. That's how a woman becomes a wife. You know what I mean? These nice guys are trying to make a woman a wife and she don't even want to be their girlfriend. They don't understand it. And the reason why I'm saying this is because I went through that. I have experienced that. I tried being a nice guy. You know what I'm saying? This woman that I was dealing with, I'm sure she was attracted to me. I know that she was. But the thing was, she didn't, she didn't want a romantic relationship. She just wanted to get fucked. You know what I'm saying? So think about that. You 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 dealing with a girl who, who just want her back blown out and you trying to be certified lover boy. Right? You trying to be Mr. Fix-It. Bro, 
she don't need you to fix nothing. She needs you to break that headboard and break that back. Like you don't you don't get it. You don't understand it. Right? But I'm I'm I'm, I'm telling y'all this so you can actually get what you deserve out here. Like pretending to be something you're not, you always gonna get what you deserve for that. And that's absolutely nothing. You know what I'm saying? You can't win with borrowed skill. That's something I used to always tell my younger brother, but that's that's probably another video. I'll probably make that at some, some point in time. But look, being nice don't matter. Fuck being nice. Be respectful. Be thoughtful. Be understanding. That's what you should be. You don't need to be nice. You don't need to be nice. Be respectful. Be honest. Be understanding. You know what I'm saying? You want to attract women. You want women to, you know what I'm saying, like you. They must respect you. A woman has to respect you in order to love you. You're always being nice. It's hard for people to respect a nice person. They respect good people. They respect honest people. They respect serious people. Be good, be serious, be respectful, be thoughtful, be reliable. You know what I'm saying? Don't let people take advantage of you. But you don't need to be nice. You don't need to be nice. Right? A woman, a woman gonna feel whatever she wants about you. You know what I'm saying? Whether she wants, whether she wants to like you or not like you, regardless of what's in her best interest from your point of view. It's not up to you to decide what's good for her. She gonna make her choices, she gonna make her mistakes. Being a nice guy, it's just stupid. It really is. Because every one of your cries fall on deaf ears. Every single one. Nice guys. That's why nice guys finish last. Because you're not even in the race. You're not even acknowledged. You feel what I'm saying? But you don't understand that because if somebody's being nice, it's because they want to let you down easy. They don't want confrontation. You know what I'm saying? And if you're projecting nice... That's what you're saying. You don't want no confrontation. You don't want no problems. You know what I'm saying? You don't want the drama. So she don't give it to you. She just give you <laughs> surface level BS. Right? She know you can't handle it. Because you're too nice. <laughs> right? So what I'm going to say is. Don't be a nice guy. Just be a real guy. Be a genuine guy. Be an honest guy. You know what I'm saying? There is there. I will say this before you go crazy. There is such a thing as being too honest. There is such a thing as, as being too honest. You can be so honest that you're, you hurt people. So, some everything don't need to be said. Some things are better left of them said. Everything, every body don't need to know everything right you gotta meet people where they at you know what I'm saying when you see that somebody struggling to understand something you see somebody you know what I'm saying may not be as quick to, to pick it up or, or to catch on take your time with them that's everybody that's not just women take your time with them right if they ain't got the time for you to take the time with them you know what time it is stop wasting time right well before I close out the video I want you to remember you don't need to be nice you just need to be real you need to be genuine you need to be authentic you need to be honest you know what I'm saying you want people to respect you respect yourself and be your true self be genuine you ain't gotta show the the skeletons in your closet or bear your innermost soul to the world. No, you ain't got to do all that. Just be forthcoming. Be honest. Be open. 
Be genuine with these women. Don't put on a front because you think they're not going to like you. Like, that's, that's, that's feminine energy. That's, no. Nah. <laughs> Don't do that. Be real with yourself. Then you can be real with everybody else. So, in conclusion, drop the nice guy act. Don't need to pick up a tough guy act. Just pick up the pieces of your soul, the pieces of your being, the pieces of who you hope to be, and work with that. S stop trying to do what everybody else do. Pick up artist shit and no, no just you just be you. You want to attract what's right for you. That's how that go. So, Professor Hawk signing out. Hawk Sensei bid you would do. Let's expand. Let's grow. And let's go.